Welcome to the U.S. Census Bureau Overland Park ACO 3158. This is a demonstration of the initial setup of your new smartphone. Some of you may be more familiar and comfortable with this technology than others. If you are unsure about any of these steps, you can request assistance from your trainers or supervisor. You will want to carefully unbox your device kit. Remove the contents, making sure to not damage the box and packaging. You will need to return these at the end of the operation with the device and accessories. Please remember to charge your device every night. To start your device, press and hold the power button on the upper right hand side until an image appears. To unlock your device, use the passcode provided in the handout. You should now see a white sign-in screen with a blue shield. This is the Hub application. If at any time during this process a pop-up appears prompting you to change your passcode, tap later. We will change the passcode later in this video. In Hub, tap the username field and enter the username received with your kit. Next. Tap the password field and enter the temporary password provided to you. Tap sign in. Read the terms and conditions and tap accept. You should see the account profile screen showing account info, menu options, and a red logout at the bottom of the screen. Do not log out of Hub. Tap the round home button located at the bottom of the screen to go back to the home screen. We will now set up your network security and change your password. Locate and tap the password self-service or PSS app. The PSS app icon looks like a gold shield with a white background. You should tap and enter your username in the field and tap accept. Tap the password field and enter the same temporary password that you used to sign into Hub. And tap Submit. You should now be in the Challenge Profile Change screen. Follow the instructions and tap Next. You will select five security questions and enter answers. Do this carefully and be sure that you can remember the answers. Tap Next when completed. you will see the Change Password screen. Follow the instructions, then enter and confirm your new password. Make sure you follow the complexity rules as stated in the instructions. Tap Submit, then press the Home button to return to the home screen. Now we will set a custom six-digit passcode to unlock your device. Tap on the settings icon, which looks like a silver gear. Scroll down to the menu and select Touch ID Passcode. Enter the passcode you were given to unlock the, your phone in the beginning. Ch select Change Passcode. Now enter a new six-digit passcode. It cannot contain three consecutive ascending or descending digits, nor repeating digits. Tap Next in the upper right-hand corner. Confirm the new passcode by entering it again. Then tap Done in the upper right-hand corner. Remember, your passcode is the code to unlock your phone. If you type your passcode incorrectly too many times, you will not be able to use your phone. So if you type your passcode wrong twice in a row, stop and call your supervisor. Next, verify you can log into the FDC training application. Locate, 
and tap the FDC training icon. It has a Burgundy Census logo. On the first screen is a warning. Tap OK. Tap Login on the next screen. When a pop-up message appears, you will tap Continue. Tap in the Password field box. Enter the password we created earlier in PSS and type tap sign in. When the application has finished logging on, you should see a screen with four large buttons. If not, alert your supervisor. If FDC training has loaded properly, press the home button to return to the home screen. Your supervisor will direct you when to log into FDC production. Now we will verify the software auto update settings. Tap on the settings icon, scroll to general, and select software update. Scroll to automatic updates and select it. Then tap the switch to the right to turn on. The switch should show green when done. Please keep in mind all apps and updates for your device are managed by the U.S. Census. Press the home button to exit settings. Next we will set up your voicemail for your device. Select the green phone icon at the bottom of the screen. In the lower right hand corner, tap the voicemail icon. A setup screen should appear. Follow the prompts to set up a voicemail pin and record a greeting. Use the greeting provided at the bottom of your handout. Remember, this device is the property of the U.S. Census. When you leave the U.S. Census, you must return the device, all of the accessories, and the packaging. You are responsible to keep the device secure. If you have any immediate questions or concerns, contact your CFS or a trainer. If you need further IT assistance in the field, contact your supervisor or use the contact info at the bottom of the handout. This concludes this training. Thank you for your attention.